Hi, this is Lex 3 x and instead of going through some of the old videos of stuff that happened uh, in 2014 to 2016, I'm looking at right up to date and what people are making in Project Spark right now. And, and yes, you can play Project Spark, but you can't share uh, through the community areas of the, of the game anymore. But you can join the Project Spark team Xbox Club and make videos of the things that you've made and post them up on our activity feed. And here is uh, a look at some of the stuff that's been posted up. Now, some of this I may have seen, some of this uh, might be completely new to me. I don't know what I'm gonna get necessarily. We're just gonna click on a few things and have a look. Uh, I might make this a, a regular thing and make some comments on, on what we're seeing. So let's get into the activity feed and see what's what's there right now. Okay, so I'm uh, promoting my channel there uh, with the latest uh, tutorial that I did, which was a COD mystery box, which I was quite pleased with. Okay, so we've got Man Mysterio, Project Spark Battle Royale Whip. Right, can we get that full screen? It's loading up. Okie dokie. So then, Man Mysterio, Battle Royale. This is the most popular type of game mode at the moment. For people that aren't worried about being sued by PUBG. Okay, so we've got um, so Astro Marine, well, Astro Warrior Space Guy, uh, and bows and arrows. So it's a bit of a mixture. Got laser guns, etc., etc. So um, you, oh, this is the holding area. He's waiting for the shuttle. Okay, here's the shuttle. Oh wow. Well, he's not gone for some hokey-looking bus. This is a, this is a spacecraft. We're spinning stuff. Okay, so we've now dropped out of the shuttle. Um, it still says we're waiting for the shuttle, so I'm a little confused about that. Maybe he said it was a whip, so we'll forgive him. It's not a completed game. Um, right, southwest. It says. I don't know whether that's what that is that's where the direction he's running in could you change direction see if that changes no no it's not doesn't see I don't know quite what that southwest is at the top there we've got the coordinates up there and he's got full health now the thing about creating a game like battle royale in project spark is you can't really play it I mean you <laughs> um because you, you, you can't have multiplayer games anymore. Um, there's no real way of, of creating a battle royale situation. So you, you can create an environment. You can create a... Uh, now it says northwest. But you didn't really change direction. I'm, I'm, I'm Right, okay. There's a view from the... Yeah, okay. View from the top. That's a little annoying. Please stop flashing the, the island at me. Please stop. Please, please, I'm begging you to stop. This is, no, it's too much. I can't cope. Too much flushing. No, I'm going to stop. Ah. Well, okay, that's enough of that. Too much flushing. Good God, man, Mysterio. Flushing at us all the time. Right, okay, now then. Now, this is sad. Legend Day Hero, he says he's going to leave Project Spark due to horrible and constant crashes. Now, now the startup is annoying. But you just load it up twice, you get into the habit of doing that, and you never have a problem with it again. Uh, constant crashes. Um, if your game is constantly crashing, you're doing something wrong. Um, that's your bad coding. That isn't Project Spark. That's you doing something that it doesn't do. And um, so, I'm sorry, that's, that's, that's your... That's whatever it is you're doing that's causing that to crash. It's not that the game's faulty in any way. It, it, it's you um okay so doom slayer what have we got here here is a video let's let's full size this right doom slayer is it playing I don't think it is right there we go npc quest can you find me find my lost hat last place i saw hang on can you find my hat did you find my hat? Keep looking. 
Well, oh, right, okay. So he's got it. That was a hat, was it? There you are. You found your hat. Keep looking, he says. He obviously doesn't want that one. Did you find my hat? Thank you. Here is your reward. That is a ridiculous looking hat. <laughs> um, there are quest brains available in Project Spark. You don't have to code yourself, which isn't that much different to this. You just need to amend them a bit. Um, but there you go. That's how you, how he's coded that. Um, is there any more to this? Is it just the find my hat quest? I guess it's just the find my hat quest. Well, there you go. So check that video out if you want to know how to create a find a hat quest. I can't imagine there's an awful lot of call for that, but you can always use that brain to do all sorts. Right, okay, what we got here? Hands down, 1329. And let's full screen this video. What have we got here? Oh, what's your spelling? Right. Um, we have... Oh, guy with wings. There's an awful lot of characters in this. It's very fast and furious. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um, so we've got well, a girl character now. Obviously you can take over different ones. It's time to pay for your crimes. I what? This is all too fast to ever made this. You don't give your viewers enough time to read the uh, captions because you know what they say but we don't the character models look pretty good I mean the guy with the wings that looks pretty smart um, I take it these are these are superhero characters oh she's doing some sort of psychic okay that's cool I like that I like the way she put her hand out put her hand to her forehead you obviously use the connect to create some uh, some animation there that's pretty good but it is a little bit in your face everything going on uh, yeah and that slowdown is because you've got too much going on at the same time project spark can't handle too much effects all at the same time or possibly it's Xbox and this video is on a go slow which it does do that too so um, Sometimes it's ridiculous, you can't play videos on the Xbox. Wow. Some great character models here with some really interesting clothing options and things that they've created. So this is, this is good. It's just in terms of watching it as, um, as a viewer, it's just a little bit manic. But very nice. Very nice character models. Well done, hands down, one, three, two, nine. Okay, uh, is that more of it? Training with Storm, Bishop and Psylocke. Oh, we don't want any more. There's, there's, there's lots of it. X-Men, there's the NPC quest again with the fantastic hat. Um, that's a screenshot of um, a slug, I guess. There we go. Um, and this is Dothraki Dragon. Let's have a look at what he's put in. Can we make that large? There we go. KTS Sneak Peek. Oh, this is the, the snail game again. She looks pretty cool. He's got his own little character there. He's got cutscenes, which is which is excellent. Aha, he escaped. <laughs> it's nice to have cutesy uh, characters in your game. There we go. There we are. There it was. Um, that you've made yourself. It's it's nice to have characters that you've done that's completely yours. And um, he created Crunch the Snail, and there's quite a few 
clips of crunch the snail there and uh, it's great so um, I think we played that one on the live stream so I'll, I'll miss miss out those uh, let's have a look at this advanced bunker door it's always a good idea to adapt the props that we've got to make new doors um, oh that's cool I like that there we go and of course you can use the animation of uh, an existing door to create your own you just attach it to different bits of the door some of them are better at it than the others but I would suggest you learn uh, about rotation and and your and roll and that, all of those um, to create your own from scratch rather than attaching your props to existing ones uh, because then you can create completely your own effects. So have a look at my website projectspark.co.uk and um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to move things and how to create your own uh, door type props. So uh, there's a screenshot of I'm not sure what. I don't I, I really don't know what to I don't know what that is. It's interesting, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so we have we have a FNAF character there. He looks quite cool. And this is Man Mysterio. Is this uh, is this his battle royale game? Looks like it might be, doesn't it? So we'll just go on. There's another FNAF character there. Uh, here we go. It's more of the Battle Royale game. Uh, there's Goblin 360. Uh, he's just put up a load of Necromancer's Yawning. Because why not? <laughs> uh, people put up screenshots. You don't have to put up video. Um, so let's have a look at this. This is now. Is it is it is it pronounced Ruby or is it R W B Y? It obviously stands for something. It's a game. I think it's an anime star thing. Um, I like the, the the cloak and the and the big axe thing. Oh, it's a gun. Oh, it's an. He's got he's got two weapons: an axe and a gun. And a reloading system. That's good. Uh, uh, this very so small quite camera quite far away uh, you I guess it's a side scroller um, there are a few games made in this it's a side scroller but I don't know she got movement I say she I think it's a she backwards and forwards um, so it's, it's not on one plane there which is quite good so there we are, a side-scrolling battle thing. Uh, it's obviously a work in progress, that, that's not a full game in any way. But yes, nice. There we go. I like the cloak. Right. Fully playable mini game. Right. Let's have a look at CS Somic Cages. Fully Island Derby 5. Island Derby Game by CS Somic Cage That looks cool actually. It's like a it's an animation. It's, it looks like computer animation like a Pixar thing. That's, that's rather nice, I like it. And that 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 uh, bird he's created there—that's quite cute. Great ship. You could create some great pirate stuff in Project Spark. Um, lots of people did make some amazing-looking pirate ships, and that's a good one. So we're in the water. I wish the water was better when you got in the water. I wish it was—it looked better. Had a, had a better effect when you went in the water because it's sort of. It's something or nothing really, isn't it, when you go in the water in Project Spark? 
Oh, we got some interesting characters and some chocolate. Because why not? Uh, the music is. Uh, if I turn up the music a bit. I can't really hear it. It's, uh, it's probably too loud now because I don't know what the, temp what the thing. I'll put it back down to 38. He's put his own music in there, but I think uh, it's probably. It's very quiet and it's probably um, not royalty free, so I hope I'm not going to get a strike. Um, now he says it's a mini. Oh, he's turned into a skeleton. What happened there? There's an awful lot going on, but it's a little confusing as a game. It's like, what's the aim of the game? What's the purpose? What have you got to do? It's not particularly clear. Um, it all looks very pretty and it's a lot of running around and it's basically a brawler with no real um, purpose. I mean, he's collecting these fiery balls and people are attacking him, but I'm, I'm not quite sure what he's supposed to be doing. I like the fact he turns into a skeleton. Um, there's obviously a backstory to this that um, I'm not, we, we, we're not privy to. Um. But, you know, there's an awful lot in this. A lot of innovative, creative stuff in this. Which is cool. And for those of you who are waiting for the launch of Dreams and are hoping to make things a thousand times better than this, um, yeah, we're all waiting. And, um,. And you're looking at this and going, Whoa, Dreams is going to be so much better. It's like, what? Well, of course it will. Of course it will. It's been five years since this was developed. I would absolutely expect uh, nothing less. It has to be much better than Project Spark. Otherwise, what's the point? We need to move on. We need to improve. We need to get better at these things. Project Spark is a great starting point and uh, I do recommend if you're interested in game making and you just want something simple to try out uh, and you've got an Xbox and you can get hold of the starter disc you might have some fun having a go, why not? Okay, well I think that's enough for today um, I enjoyed that, I hope you did too Please uh, join the club, Project Spark team uh, it's a friendly club, everybody just posts up their stuff and um, people like it and they leave comments. It's all great, uh, it's all very friendly and uh, as long as you don't swamp the feed with a thousand and one clips of your of your making in one go, um, everybody's going to be chill. Uh, but please put up your stuff, we're really interested in seeing anything new that's been made in Project Spark. Is, is worth a look. Thanks for watching and keep sparking!